Hey guys, what's up, it's Umber here, and today I'm going to be bringing you all a little guide. Especially if you use Steam sometimes if you move games around with applications such as the Steam Mover, or this could just happen after an update or something in general, games that you have installed will be appearing as uninstalled. In my case, I have Borderlands 2 here for Steam. Great game, I fucking love it, been playing Borderlands 3. But... It's showing that it's uninstalled, which is weird because if I go right here on my SSD and go to Steam Library and Commons, I do have it installed. So I'm kind of wondering what's going on here. Why is why is Steam doing this? But that's okay because I'm going to be bringing you guys. I found a way to fix this, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do. So first, what you're gonna want to do, for example, is you're gonna Let's just open another file explorer for a sec. So I'm going to open local disk E. That's where I want to transfer the game. So I've got local disk E right here. I've got all sorts of games and stuff on here. And let's say I want to transfer it to here, since it's not a game I'm playing a lot at the moment. So I'm going to want to go to common on uh, Steam apps right here. So. What you're going to want to do is go to Steam Library, then Steam Apps, and then Common. And then what we're going to do is, on our drive where the game is installed, is go on Common. And we're going to open this back up. We're going to take Borderlands 3, and then we're going to copy it to Common. Now, it's going to take a little bit, but not that long, since it's only 15 gigabytes. So you don't have to transfer it from your SSD to your HDD. I'm just doing it for an example in this video. You can, it's probably actually better to run it on your SSD. But I'm just transferring it here to bring, to do an example for you guys. So we'll come back once this is finished copying, which won't be too long. Okay, so... As you can see right here, Borderlands 2 has finished copying over to the hard drive I wanted to on local disk E. So since that we have uh, Borderlands 2 where we want it to be, we don't need it on disk D at the moment. So I'm just going to delete that right here. And you don't necessarily have to do this, but you probably should so your game isn't installed on two places. So once that's done, we're going to want to go back to Steam. And when we hit Install Borderlands 2, we're going to want to make sure it's installed under the drive that we placed it in. So let's do that. And it should say discovering existing files for Borderlands 2 and the installation will literally only take one second because you have it already installed and Steam is recognizing a game that you already have in installed so it's just verifying the location and then you should be able to play it again so as you can see right there it says discovering existing files for Borderlands 2 and it will take some time to load and kind of verify those files and then it should be playable instantly. Well, not counting the discovering existing files. Because it's not going to download anything. It is... Well, all it's doing is it may ask you to install or download, but it's just going to verify those files. Alright, so it's almost finished uh, discovering existing game files, and it should say installing at 99%. Reserving space, as you can see. This will not take long at all. There you go. This is how you get Steam to recognize games listed as uninstalled, as installed. Steam has had this issue for a while, and I wanted to bring this guy to you to help you fix this problem if any of you are having it. Anyways, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Like this video if it helped you. Comment down below if it helped you. Subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys later. I love you all. Umbra, out.